Hey y'all, it's Anjali from the Dusty Hive. I was just popping on here today um, just to welcome y'all to the Dusty Hive and um, just to let y'all know a little bit about us. Chad and I were looking over our friends and follower list and we realized that about half of the people that um, we don't know who you are. And so um, if we don't know who you are, you don't know who we are. And we just want to uh, just share a little bit about our home, our family, and our vision for the Dusty Hive. And so, like I said, my name is Anjali, and my husband, Chad, and I, we are the makers behind the Dusty Hive. And Chad and I have been married for 10 years now, and whenever we got married, we became, we blended our families together. We have both had children uh, from previous marriages. I have a son, Josh, who is now 28. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's 28, that I have a 28-year-old. And um, he had Emily, who is now 20. And so they're grown and on their way and um, making their path and their way in this life. And then together we have Lucy and Lily, who I'm sure you've seen on our page and um, they're really our our reason and our why behind what we do for the Dusty Hive. Um, so, four children, two grown adult children, and two littles. And um, we decided uh, that when we got married, that if we were going to have one child, that we didn't want to raise another only child, that we would have two. And so, the Lord blessed us with two little girls. And... You know, just having adult children now, we realize just how fast they grow. And I'm sure you mamas and papas, you look back and you say, wow, that seemed like that was just yesterday. And then you turn around and it was like five years ago. Well, now having adult children, we really are like, that was yesterday. And how did we end up with 20-somethings? And so... Um, I was, a, I was an educator, a public school educator. I spent 15 years teaching in public and private schools in the area that we live in. Um, and then we decided that whenever we had the littles, just because we knew how time is fleeting, that we would come home for me to homeschool. Hey, my sister's joining live. I'm doing a Facebook Live. You can go back later and um, see what it's all about. But anyway, um, back to our story. So we wanted to um, just make the most of every moment that we have with our girls. And so I decided to leave my career as an educator and come home and homeschool the girls. And we really noticed something that whenever life slowed down and we became more intentional about the things that we did on a daily basis with them and just in our home and within our family, that creativity began to be unlocked in us. And I began, and Chad as well began to see a creative side to, we began to see a creative side to ourselves that we hadn't really known before. Um, as an educator, yeah, it does take some sort of creativity, but, um, you know, it's a different kind of creativity. And so I never really saw myself as a creative. But being home with my girls and wanting to nurture and encourage creativity in them, it began to unlock something in me. And um, and we, Chad, Chad felt the same way too. But he was he's a, he's the guy that's always had a project going. So he's always been a maker, maker at heart. And I too, in a sense, if you ask any of my family, they know I was all, I'm always I've always been making something and making something out of nothing. And so that leads to my next thing. Um, uh, we're not only makers, but the, the idea of making things came out of um, our own resourcefulness, you know, being resourceful with what we have. Because if you go around my house and you look and you see any main piece of wood furniture, Chad more than likely built it. And so he built it out of a necessity and out of being uh, resourceful, with what we using the things that we had, you know, around the house. And so, um, so yeah. And so my, and from that, that's exactly how the dusty hive started is because Chad was, um, 
I asked him to build something for me. Y'all, I'm looking at my notes because I, I, I want to, you know, I don't want to ramble. I wanted to have purpose behind this. But um, I asked him to build something that I needed. And he built it, and we began using it around the house. And then people saw it, and then they started, you know, saying, hey, can, I, can you make me one like that? And so that's kind of where the Dusty Hive began was out of that just just the need of us being resourceful. And then even me and doing um, what I do with um, sign making and hand lettering and all of that, it 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 was ne never anything that I, you know, dreamed of or thought of that I would do. But what happened was we built a tiny house, a tiny cabin camper, and I wanted, you know, like adventure artwork and um, decor in the in the little cabin. And uh, when I began to look around, just, you know, being a homeschool mom on, on just a, a single income, I, I started thinking, well, maybe I can try to make some of that. And so I made a few pieces of artwork to go in our tiny cabin. And I was like, felt pretty accomplished because I thought it looked like, you know, all the things that I would see at Hobby Lobby and on um, Etsy and so forth. So I was like, hey, you know, and then whenever some of our friends started seeing it, they're like, you should make these and sell them. And I'm like, really? Do you think it's good enough to sell? And so, so again, my making came out of, you know, just being resourceful with the things that we had. And th this is the thing, because Chad's a maker, all that he's all time has some kind of woodworking project going on. I just go dig in his scrap pile and I make, I make the things that I make, most of the signs that you see, unless it was like a custom order and I had to get something um, specific it came from my creations or, um, you know, or from the scrap pile. So it's kind of fun to see for me to dig through his scraps and see what, what, what it is that I can come up with. But, um, anyway, so a little, so we, we, from that, we started our Etsy shop. Well, he had, he had actually started it prior to me jumping on, you know, the bandwagon with the hand lettering and the signs and so forth. Um, but it was just kind of like we just rolled with it. It was like here and there. Oh, yeah, somebody ordered something. Hey, Linda. And so um, so we just kind of went with it, and we weren't very intentional about it. It was just like, yeah, people, you know, our friends or whatever they knew. And then we started getting orders from people that were, you know, across the country in California or New York, and we didn't even know who they were. And so um, about a year ago, we started to be more intentional about it. And Chad and I joined our forces together because I had had a little Etsy shop on the side thinking, you know, what we would, what, what he did and what I did were two different things and that they didn't go together. But, you know, the more we thought about it and we know, you know, and started just talking about what our vision and our passion was, they do go together because um, our passion and our vision and our driving force for, um, the dusty hive is is just home and family, and um, our little our little slogan or tagline that goes along with with what we do is helping you tell the story of your home. And if you've been to our website, thedustyhive.com, you've read a few things that I wrote about just our heart and our vision um, behind the dusty hive. And so we decided to join our forces together, and I dove into the world of. Um, technology and social media and so everything that I've kind of done and learned has been like kind of self-taught just along the way and just gleaning from actually free resources out there because it wasn't in the budget to to you know get any um, professional assistance or help and so after you've been intentional about you know the dusty hive and just really thinking about the things in our home and, um, you know, being available to help people um, design pieces for their home uh, in order to tell their story of their family. That, that's, that's, just, that's just what our heart is behind, behind what we do. That is our who and our do. I know in the little title I said a little bit of our who and our do. And um, that's just who we are. And that's, that's why we do what we do. I mean, I've always had a passion and... Um, anyone who knows me for a long time, it's, it's about home, you know, and, um, I like the old, um, 
the old kind of stuff around home. I, if it was my mama's or my grandma's or whatever, oh yeah, give it to me. I'll keep it. I'm the one that everybody asks before they get rid of something. Oh, Angeline might want this. And if you walk around my house, I could probably tell you a story just, you know, with just about everything that you see. But, you know, it's, it's some people, they want the new factor of it. They just don't want old stuff in their house. And so that's kind of um, what we do is we kind of make things that have that that old um, element to it, but it's new and, you know, and it's sturdy. And so um, we do repurpose some piece, pieces and uh, repurpose uh, wood, you know, use repurpose wood as well for some of our projects and all. And um, if you, those of you who know me, for people who know me for a long time, they know that for the longest time I had two gold antique couches in my living room. That was like our daily furniture that we, you know, napped on and rested on and watched TV on and all. I just like old stuff. And then there was a, a point in my life I was like, oh, I'm getting rid of all this old stuff and I'm just going to, you know, go with what's the latest trend and what's the great latest style, you know, in home decor. And I did. I had a yard sale and I still to this day kick myself for selling some of the things that I sold at that yard sale because it took me time. It wasn't it. I didn't sell anything of sentimental value, but it did take time over a course of time to collect um, certain things that represented, you know, the, the decor in the home, you know, that I was trying to build. And so I think really that's kind of what the Dusty Hive has been is kind of me trying to recapture and rebuild some of those things that I let go of because really that at the heart, that's who I am. And so another thing about the Dusty Hive is like, you know, people ask the Dusty Hive, like, where did that name come from? And, uh, and we thought about, you know, me being a teacher, doing the hand lettering. When I first started the hand lettering, I did like a lot of chalkboard signs, you know, chalk dust. Chad's always out in the workshop, sawdust. And so, um, so it was like, yeah, okay, we, that's where the dust comes from. And then the hive. And if you think about a hive, you know, it's a place where, um, where bees nurture and, you know, the, nurture the baby bees until they're able to go out on their own and you know take their job in the in in their family in the hive and so um that's why we chose the dusty hive it's a little bit about who we are our who and our do again and so um so anyway so i just wanted to say hey i'm really challenging myself and growing in this area hopefully i'll jump out there and um you know, get to interact with y'all a little more, learn a little bit about you, and, um, you know, y'all learn a little bit about us um, as makers and as a family, and um, I just have, you know, I was just, I was just thinking today just about all the things that I could share with all the new followers and friends that we have that you don't know about us, and um, and that it would just probably mean so much more if you had one of our pieces in your, in your home, you know, that... Um, it would it would mean a lot more knowing our story and where it comes from and so um i'm not going to go on any further today because um i'll just talk about everything that was on my mind today and i want to say something for um another time to share it all but you know thanks for joining me and um you know i look forward to seeing more of y'all and i'm going to try and get chad to ch jump on a little later so that you can hear a little bit from him and just, you know, his heart and his, his take on, on things. And so I'm sure at some point you'll see our girls, you know, running around in some of these videos or popping in and out. And, uh, and so looking forward to getting to know you and we just are inviting you into our family to get to know us a little more. So y'all have a great day and, um, thank you for watching and thank you for following.